Welcome everyone. I'm Dr. Kalyan. I'm a neurosurgeon and spine surgeon from Hyderabad. In this session, I will be answering a very important question which every patient with low back pain keeps asking me. What is the success rate of endoscopic spine surgery? Endoscopic spine surgery is becoming very popular in the recent days because it's very safe and very successful. Of the minimal invasive surgical options for slip disc or sciatica, microdiscectomy and endosc endoscopic discectomy are the most popular techniques. In this video, let us discuss regarding the success rate of endoscopic discectomy or keyhole spine surgery are also called as transforaminal endoscopic discectomy in particular. So let's come to our question. What is the success rate of endoscopic discectomy? Before understanding what is the success rate of endoscopic discectomy, you should understand what is an endoscope. This is a surgical instrument, which is known as an endoscope. The endoscope is a long, tubular, narrow instrument. The diameter of an endoscope is usually less than one centimeter. Usually, and the diameter is around 7.5 mm, 6.5 mm in that range. Because the endoscope is a narrow instrument, I can reach the slip disc, the disc which has slipped, causing minimal injury to the skin. So it causes minimal in injury to the skin uh, and the muscles and the bones. See, you can see this diagram. This is an endoscope. Because it's a very narrow and tubular instrument, I'm able to go through the skin, through the muscle, and this is the neural foramina, into the disc. This blue structure which you are seeing is the herniated portion. So when I'm reaching this herniated portion, all this one, I'm causing minimal injury. And that is because of the nature of the instrument which is narrow and long. Second one, the procedure is a targeted discectomy. You can see in this picture, this is the portion of the disc which is unhealthy. This is the unhealthy portion of the disc which is herniated and compressing the nerve roots. So with an endoscope I, and with the special dyes, I'll be able to precisely localize the part of the disc which is not healthy, which is degenerated. So I'll be removing the part of the disc which is degenerated at the same time preserving the normal structures in the disc. This causes minimal collateral damage to the muscles, to the ligaments, to the bone and also to the healthy disc which is not yet degenerated. Most important reason why this one is, this procedure is safe is because of the brilliant magnification and the illumination provided by the endoscope. This is an endoscopic picture of the operative side. You can see our nerves are very thin. Sometimes some of the nerves are as thin as the size of your thickness of your hair. But through an endoscope, you can see this is one of the nerve which I'm seeing. This is one more nerve which I'm seeing. This entire one. So this endoscope, provides brilliant magnification and a very brilliant illumination. This makes my surgery safer. Because of this illumination and magnification, the chances of me injuring the neural structure becomes very low. You can see this picture, this surgical star, which is less than a centimeter. This is the post-operative picture of a patient. And coming to the essential answer, because of the instruments because, and one more thing, because the surgery is done under an aware and awake state where the patient can give me feedback regarding any neural injury, the success rate of this surgery particular procedure in my experience is 90 to 95%. But let us also speak about complications. Let us compare the complication rate of endoscopic discectomy with an open discectomy. You can browse this article, which this is a meta-analysis, which is recently published. This is the link for the meta-analysis. Here, the author, this green one is the complication rate, which the author has experienced in these hands through the endoscopic procedure. 
these blue things of various shades are the experience of the slip trial these are the of the experiences of swedish spinal stenosis study and the sport trial they are well known uh, studies but open discectomy so when compared to them all the complications like reherniation or the dural tear or the infection they are all very minimal with endoscopic discectomy so this obviously shows from this one where in my hands the success rate is 90 to 95% which is comparable to an open discectomy which is comparable to a microscopic discectomy and the complication rates which are very very low i can definitely say endoscopic discectomy is a very safe procedure with a very good success rate and very less complications if you still have any doubts you can you can put it down in the comment section below i will try to answer it whenever i am free if you are happy with this video you can share it with some of your relatives with you are who are contemplating a surgery for a slip disc or who are suffering from the back pain it will be helpful to you and do subscribe to, to this channel so that you will be uh, you will receive a notification as soon as i upload a new video thank you